the middle of August 2019. Why am I filming this water tower? About a week ago I came across some news that the city is planning on adding some elements to the water tower for Verizon. So there are going to be some modifications happening. I don't know when, but uh, I wanted to get it on camera before those changes take place. I went to Eureka High School, graduated in 2001. I was only there my senior year, so I do have a soft spot for the logger life that I used to live. I was a logger. I was also a warrior because I went to Southern Trinity High School for three years. I have a love for both schools. Um, so let me read you something. This is something that uh, came up when I was doing a search on what exactly they're going to be doing to the tower. So basically, it says, uh, Eureka Planning Commission to consider Verizon wireless installation for Harris Street water tower. Cannabis smoking lounge permits. Okay, that sounds like two completely different things, but it's all in the same article here. And it continues uh, on here. It says, the Eureka water tower may soon be decorated with more than bold letters reminding us that we are in Eureka. And this is from the Lost Coast Outpost. Uh, home of the loggers, let's see. At a meeting next week, the Planning Commission will consider approving the installation of a Verizon, Verizon wireless telecommunications facility on the tower. And it's 134 feet tall. Design plans include eight antennas and 12 remote radio heads to be installed toward the top of the tower to help improve mobile service in the area. If you're worried about the impacts this project may have on the appearance of the familiar structure, images from the staff report may assure you the installations are pretty darn small. Okay, well, we've all heard that before, haven't we? So yeah, it just kind of goes on a little bit more. Uh, you can find the article online if you just look up uh, Eureka Water Tower. It'll pop up in the news feed on Google. So yeah, that's it. I'm gonna take a couple more shots of the tower from different angles so you can get a better perspective of it. But yeah, little newsworthy changes happening. So let's take a look around. I do apologize that the sound is all muffled. It's so big that you actually have to stand like a block away just to get some like decent footage of it. All right, let's try another view. Here's a more lateral view facing north. I wanted to get the tank on the ground in the shot as well, with the tower behind it. In fact, I think I might use this as my thumbnail for the video. That'd be a terrific shot. This building over here is like the Humboldt Bay satellite office or something, I don't know. The Bay Fire. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. and. Um, See you on YouTube.